So let me ask you this. Could you tell which Tom Cruise is the real Tom Cruise and which Tom Cruise is a fake? He was actually in the news this week for doing a, doing a little magic trick on TikTok. A little sleight of hand, a little one of those. I didn't do anything there. I just moved my hands around. I don't know how to do magic. I don't have a coin, but Tom Cruise does. He's a big fan of magic, right? So it's not unheard of that he would be on TikTok doing some sleight of hand. But the real magic was the video itself. It wasn't Tom Cruise at all. In fact, it's what's known as a deep fake. The magic was the video all along. So stick around at the end of the video, man. I'll let you know who did this deep fake and and how it came about. But I wanted to chat a bit about that today. Go ahead, get all your jokes in. Just go ahead and right now, hit hit like, hit subscribe, go to the comments and just, just go crazy. Well, Tom Cruise looks fake normally anyways, uh, but I wanna talk more about this deep fake video. You guys, it, special effects aren't new. Movie special effects aren't new. Uh, photo manipulation isn't new. In fact, one of the first known special effects was in 1895. It was a uh, Alfred Clark movie. It's a little graphic, but it's all fake. It's a little special effect. Someone getting beheaded. Uh, you can see where the cut's at. It was it was a big deal at the time. Uh, and as far as I, I always remember, I've loved movie special effects. There was a show called Movie Magic. I don't even remember what channel it came on, but they would go behind the scenes and show you, here's how we really did all this stuff. Loved it. But I'll never forget the episode on Terminator 2, because at the time, and heck, still to this day, those graphics hold up, but at the time, groundbreaking. They had that T-1000 dude that was doing, doing that. Going to the elevator, opening up the elevator. That dude, remember him? Uh, so that was like top tier effects at the time, and I'll never forget. It's in the it's it's. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was early '90s, by the way, but I remember it like it was yesterday. One of the special effects guys said, "It's so eerie what we can do with special effects now. There will come a time we may not even need actors." And I remember then, like, "Yo, what? That's crazy. What do you mean?" And he's like, "Yeah, well." <laughs> He didn't say it to me. We weren't conversing. I was talking to the TV and he was like, yeah, it's crazy. We just, you know, we get an image of someone, we put them in, we can move them around. We can turn, make them turn into liquid. So here we are, how many years later and technology and videos and effects just get better and better and better and better. We can all um, agree there have been some uh, missteps along the way. But generally speaking, it just gets better and better and better and better. But the ones that are good, the really good ones, are really good. Let me tell you. Uh, uh, maybe last year or so, there was a State Farm Super Bowl commercial with a sports center guy predicting uh, trends of, of the current time. And uh, he was promoting The Last Dance, the Michael Jordan documentary. And so this was like a clip from the 90s of him saying, we're going to be making this documentary, blah, 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 blah. What? So was was Kenny Maine predicting the future? Of course not. It was a deep fake. They took a video of him. They used his real voice and manipulated it to look like something different. So that brings us to Tom Cruise. Here we are in what 2021, 20, is it? I don't know. Dude, I lose track. It's all just blends together now. The whole thing's fake. All of it. In fact, it was... Uh, Special effects designer Chris Oom took credit for the deep fake. He's he's done this before. It's kind of his thing. He's done numerous Tom Cruise deep fakes, but this is his latest and his best and his greatest. And they stepped it up. They have a um, Tom Cruise impersonator. So they get the voice just right. And that's usually something with these fake videos. You can tell it's a little off. But so, yeah, so they had the, the impersonator. He kind of had the mannerisms and the voice down. And then Chris Oom stepped in with his special effects, took it over the top. Uh, so the, the, the TikTok came out, millions and millions of views, of course. And then uh, Chris Oom mentioned on his LinkedIn uh, and took credit for it. So, you know, my man's trying to get a job. I ain't mad at you there, dude. You had a viral, a video go viral, amazing special effects. Someone's going to hire you. You did a great job. So Fortune reached out to him and said, hey, we want to talk to you more about this. And he got a little skittish. He said, hey, I got a team of people. We kind of all worked on it together. 
we're not ready to answer questions just yet. We got some other stuff going on. What? What else they got going on? I want to know. So why am I talking about it now? Who cares? Yay, it's a funny video of Tom Cruise doing a magic trick. Uh, but it proves one thing, and this is important, and this is something that people need to keep an eye out for. But uh, the technology and the computing power that we have to make these fake videos is moving way faster than, than we, the consumer, can keep up with. Uh, if you just glanced at that video, you would have totally thought it was real, right? I mean, it looks just like you would have to stop it, pause it, look at the intricate details to really maybe tell that's not Tom Cruise. Uh, when I first saw it, the only thing that caught me was he looked a little young. Uh, and that brings up some problems. That brings up some serious problems that we probably need to be concerned with. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of celebrities have already been placed in deep fake videos, uh, I'll say adult content videos, that have obviously caused that celebrity some hassle. They weren't really, you know, filming that scenario, but, you know, a video is a video and it looks real. So that's one thing, and that's already been trouble. But think about it. What if uh, there's a video on TikTok, the President of the United States comes forth and, and says some crazy off-the-wall stuff, even more crazy and off-the-wall than other previous presidents have said. You know, there's no telling. And, and one thing I've learned recently is, People will believe anything. They'll believe what they want to believe. It's already hard enough when you have <laughs> facts to argue with somebody who's who's dead set on something. What if you have an actual video of a person saying the thing? How do you argue against that? Seeing is believing. So yeah, you know, maybe uh, maybe it wasn't even me the whole time. I don't like having to sit here and talk. What if I could just get a computer version to do it for me? No, I don't have that type of money, man. I got to sit here and talk. I thought it was a fun one this week that Tom Cruise was popular. Did a little magic trick, thought it was neat. But but deeper, it scared me. And I wanted to talk about it. And, um, you know, this isn't new. These deep fake videos have been coming for a long time. Uh, they get better and better and better. And I'm just curious and scared and intrigued at what they will uh, become next. So until we meet again, do your best to be your best. And I will see you then.